Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Alex here, and it's going to be a little commentary over the build. I've been trying to get into the habit of doing the commentation with the building. That way I can say what's in my mind and stuff, but due to some computer errors, it's not going to happen. Um, starting off with this build, is you can see I'm just doing uh, some logs, and then I'm skipping three and doing another log. And it's basically going to be one by three of those little sections you'll see as we go along. But this is one of my early on builds, something I first made when I started Minecraft years ago. We're talking back before upside down blocks and half slabs and sideways logs, so I'm definitely going to enjoy having having these luxuries while doing something a little bit on the older side. But I'm using spruce logs, dark oak, I have a cobblestone set up, and I'm using the white concrete and the cyan glass. Uh, later on I do the roof out of spruce, I think, so... There's two sections to the building, there's two first floor parts, and then there's a second floor part, which also has room for a nice little attic. You can kind of see me lining out the outside of the first part of the first floor, which again, it's just the one by three on those little sections, so you have your gap there. I'm raising it up, I think I do five total, uh, you see me raising it up to four here. I do a cobblestone border along the bottom, and then... The fifth part's going to be the logs on the top. And I'm sorry about the little computer glitchiness. Um, little, some new software and whatnot I'm dealing with. So I've got to figure out my way around that. I'm, and I'm terribly sorry about it. So doing a nice little line of the cobblestone. And the other part of the first floor is exactly the same as this. So I'm going to cut that out and you'll just see it magically poof there. Now that I have the cobblestone place, I'm pretty much going to do um, pretty much a donut out of the white concrete. The little easier way I figure out through this is just the line on the bottom and then do a line on the top. The front here is going to be the door. There's two doors in this build, one on each side. So definitely helps with the creepers. So I do the two lines, the top and the bottom of the little donut there. And then I just fill in the walls. And you do that all the way around. Um, the back of this little rectangle is just going to be solid because we're going to put a staircase in there and not really much purpose for a room there. So just going to fill this in fully. And I believe I use birch wood for the floor, so bring a nice little brightness in with the dark wood. And you don't have to use any of the materials I'm using, it's just the general idea. So you can easily swap out that white concrete for wool, but fire hazard, and whatever woods are available. It's pretty much whatever colors you think look nice or what's available to you. You could easily swap the logs, the concrete out for, say, oak wood. That would be nice. Well, not oak wood, oak planks. So now just bordering the top with the nice little sideways logs, which I think do add a nice little difference in texture. It's the same as the rest of the logs, but just the sideways changes it, changes it up a lot. And now that we have the first part, we're going to mark out the second one, just so we know where that is. And pretty much it's all those pre-made sections of three with the logs in between. So three, and I'm just plopping down the planks there to measure out where I'm going to have the upwards log. And I'll pop one up and then that way I can just do that, and everything will be nice and happy. So, going up from one of those corner sections, we're just going to do two little sections across. So, here's the second one, and then the third, which will mark out where the second part of the first floor will be. And I've nicknamed that one Rectangle Number 2. So, we're outlining Rectangle Number 3 right now. So, just... Popping those logs where the planks are. Get rid of the planks and then just extend the logs down so they're up and down. Nice and pretty. I already did that one, so do these two next. And pretty much where the end of this section is, is where you're going to do rectangle number two. I don't think it's too complicated, but I don't think I have to show it off, so I'm just going to cut that part out and you'll see what I'm talking about hopefully at the end if you're a little stuck. 
And here we are with the first two of our little rectangles, aka the first floor done. I already went ahead and placed in the floors that are pretty much going to be everywhere and neaten things up. I also added cross beams at the top. I think that'd be a nice little texture on the inside. So I'm hoping you can see what I was talking about. Essentially, you copy the first rectangle over to the second one. And it's kind of a funky H shape. Here we have the back and... One of the things I was debating about is taking the section or just adding more to the first two rectangles and adding a little bit of roof to the back, but I decided to just stick with the original build. I'm thinking I might build this over on the survival series, which I am going to try and live stream that one. It's just kind of hard with work and stuff. For those of you that are, underway, are unaware, um, my main job is I work in a sports bar. I work 50 hours a week, so... Sometimes the recording process does does get, um, it is lacking, but I'm trying to figure that all out and try and put out good quality videos, so. I hope if you are interested in this stuff, just stick around. Now, now back to the build here. I'm building a little archway here, which originally was just some blocks and half slabs. And I'm giving a nice little arch theme, making it look like the center spots here are supported. And then just to cover up the floor and not distract from the walls itself, I just fill in it, filling it in with the uh, dark oak. And that's pretty much the only thing I use the dark oak for. You could use it for the roof, but I want to bring a I want the dark color, but I want it a little brighter. That's why I use the spruce afterwards. And pretty much the second floor is similar to the first floor. It's just that we're not going to be raising it five up. We're going to be raising it three from where we have our logs now. Because we're just doing our little donuts and then the beam on top. And another little thing that will help make it look nice is by utilizing the nice little corner mechanics on the stairs. You can make some nice looking little, little not really a walk, not like a porch or platform. Just a nice little decoration to step up in. Which, it's a little finicky because as you can see there I have to swap out some stairs so kind of weird but I do think it looks nice and get a nice little step up you don't have to jump into your doorway and then we're gonna have our stair right here which is I want a spiral staircase but due to room and stuff a regular staircase works best so adding three blocks to what we have right now so we have our floor level then we I already have the logs placing up once and I'm just adding three so it's a total of total of four not including that floor there and just raising that up, and then we're going to cap it off with the sideways logs, and then put in our magical concrete donuts with room for windows, which I do have to admit, the section that I'm placing right now on both of the rectangles, with the way I have the roof going, you can't put windows there. I correct that towards the end, and I think I make it look nice by playing with the nice sta with uh, stairs and half slabs, but I'll leave that up for you on how you want to do the design around that. So everything's capped off right about now. And now I'm just going to cut out me putting in the magical little donuts. But first, popping in the cyan glass over there. And I'm using the cyan because I like the dinginess. It's kind of a renaissance theme, but you could use regular glass. I recommend the stain just because it pulls away from white, gives another depth of color. And I'm going to cut out the rest of the donut building here. And our magical second floor donuts are finished. I popped the glass in. And now we're just going to go with the roof, which the first floor has just half slabs. The second floor utilizes the stair blocks. And I'm just going to go around and line off, do a nice line with the top part of the floor here. And as I was saying about the glass, you could definitely use the light blue glass or the clear glass. I just do the blue because it changes up the wall color a little bit. Gives your eyes something else to focus on other than blank white with some dark oak, some dark logs on the side, not dark oak. So I did the frame around around the wall because again, it's breaking up the second floor. Gives you a little bit something to look at. I don't, typically I don't do it through the center portion there because it's too small. Um, in this video, I play around with it. I show you what it looks like and then I think I do a little arch, thing, arch bit. 
And this is where I mentioned where the roof messes up with it. The bottom half of that window is going to be stained glass, is going to be a half slab. But I mean, you could leave the glut window there. I don't. I end up just using the roof to give a little bit of decoration to the wall. But it's really just the way I did the roof. Which you'll see towards the end. I know I'm not making sense on that one. So we have our half slabs almost placed for the first portion here. And that's it for the first, for the bottom portion of the roof. Just wraps around and then you have you go half slab up as you go in. Here's a little archway. You could go straight across, but I just don't like how that looks. It, it looks weird to me. Um, it looks a little bit better if you pop out those three center blocks and do upside down half slabs. It gives a little bit of shape to it, but again, still looks weird to me. Uh, one thing that just popped to mind is I know you could do like a little lattice with fence gates or just fence blocks. And that might look nice. But onto the second roof. It's your basic triangle roof. I just do a border of half slabs around the top of the blocks there. And then I go around and do your typical triangle roof. Which, again, for you not wanting to watch me place the roof, I'm going to cut that out. And we'll be back when that's done. And just a little bit of decoration on the roof. I'm almost done with it is on that log, placing a regular stair block, followed by a full, followed by an upside down stair block, and two half slabs off that upside down stair block, and then just going over to the other end where I already placed it. And that adds a nice little pointy bit to the end. And I'm coming up in the middle here, just removing some of the half slabs. It's five total, um, kind of the middle, and then two on each end, which I'm figuring out how I want to do it. I'm playing around right now, because coming up with stuff on the fly, so I have the three on there coming up from that little middle block there. So you can see middle going on up. Have your center block and then two on each end. So it's three in the center with two blank spots. And I am going to eventually, after showing off the center more, pop in some stair blocks, just normal ways. Do a line of half slabs. And popping at the time, I was thinking of doing upside down stairs, but for some reason, brain farts. I delete those full blocks in a second, right about right about now. There we go, delete them. I just fill it in with the upside down half slabs after accidentally deleting a portion of the roof. It'd be nice if I could place a block correctly in a video. And then upside down stair blocks, which gives, them, gives the roof a nice little thing in the center. Kind of breaks up the triangle shape. And then just to keep in theme with the roof, coming down here to kind of fix that missing window block, I just place a stair block there. And just that like quarter of a block adds a lot in my opinion. And I'm copying it over on the other side. And I'm also thinking if I do some upside down stairs, that will look nice. I experiment with the half slabs, which... I will pop that in in a second right now, but I think that's a little too much for the design. I think the smaller ones here, since that chunk of the roof is smaller than the main portion of the roof, it just complements it. So that is pretty much it. The rest of it is just uh, popping in doors in the staircase, which I will get to that in a second. And here we have the little staircase. I'm going to show it off just a simple one. Kind of an L shape, which you can't do a half slab there, which is really sad. Have a nice little spot you can hide behind, or you can continue going down into like the basement. And there's a log running down as my controller batteries die, which is so pleasant. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm showing you the second floor because copying the same thing, just going up so you have like a nice little attic space, and it's just stair blocks. And half slabs in the corners until you get up to where you need to go. And here we go. You just pop in the half slabs. Which that 3x3 three three at the end there, I'm also going to do the same thing. So I think I end up deleting those blocks. Yeah, I pop those out. And I will get to the actual staircase in a second. So there we go. And you have to get rid of that half half slab so you can walk all the way down. But it definitely gives you a lot of room up here for chests and stuff. Maybe a nice little guest bedroom. 
But you come up the center here with the logs, go all the way to the tippity top of the roof, and try not to place them sideways. And then you come down, and right here, on your three from the wall, is where you start going up two staircases, a half slab, turn, staircase, and then followed by another staircase. And then you do a nice little L shape with three half slabs. That gives you a nice platform, evens everything out. And then two stairs, half slab, turn, stair block. Again, pull it, placing it rightly, followed by a half slab, followed by a stair block and a half slab, and place one right there. So you have your nice little staircase up, sort of like a spiral staircase. I just couldn't fit your typical spiral staircase in there due to headroom. And this lets you access both sides of the rectangle. Which, it's small, but if you know how to decorate and place blocks properly, there's definitely a lot of potentials. You have those nice cross beams in the roof there to add a little texture. And you could do it in the do it on the second floor. I just didn't do it for some odd reason. And you walk out. And remember to place plenty of torches so mobs don't spawn in there. And that is pretty much it for this build. I hope you enjoyed it. So... I am going to cut to the exit video.